Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, this just hit me. I think it's a pretty good insight into what is happening now and the long-term agenda at play here. And I wanted to share it with you if you're coming upon this video now. I did make another video earlier today, um, and you might want to check that out. And I usually don't do two in a day, but, but this hit me and I did a little research. And as I was doing the research, I'm like, this is one of the major factors of what's happening right now. So ultimately you will decide in the comments and um, I think though when you hear this you'll go yeah th that's absolutely what's gonna happen. Um, it relates to the as it's being presented in various news outlets or stories or articles run over the last six weeks the tremendous environmental uh, benefit to what is going on now regarding everyone being locked away. And it started with and continued over at least a three or four week period with the, they for some reason Venice uh, was the catalyst or the key to pushing forth the agenda of these stories about how the canals of Venice are now crystal clear and the swans are returning and the dolphins are returning now that everybody's locked away. So they started pushing we're very subtly talking about the wonderful environmental benefit of what's happening now regarding all you nasty humans and nasty great unwashed and Agent Smith's parasite creatures are being locked away and the benefit of the environment the trees and and the animals and the plant life and 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 nature they're talking about it you can the bot has written thousands of articles or maybe it's a combination of humans and bots have written thousands of articles about how nation, uh, nature is very quickly flourishing. And I went, well, this is clearly part of the long-term agenda. The long-term agenda of Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, sustainable development, uh, open space, uh, everything we've heard or looked at over the last 10 years in this regard. Uh, having cities, uh, the humans funnel into cities, opening up huge millions of square miles of, of places where humans can't build. Um, all of that sort of Agenda 2030 environmentalism seems to be going absolutely in, in lockstep with what is happening now. Or what is happening now, if you have a long enough time horizon, will be used to implement their environmental goals. Now, this is not going to jive with you if you think they're going to kill us all in a few months. We're all gonna, you're all gonna die. We're all. I mean, if you, it doesn't. If you, it, this will jive with your inner knowing, if you believe they play chess over a thousand year period or longer in some ways and shorter in others, but the very very slow creep in terms of the world they want to build. That's what is in line with my understanding and everything. I've. I'm, I'm an observer. I have no insider information. I have no whistleblowers. I don't want any. As I've said many times, I've never been initiated into anything, nor do I want to be. Mr. Beeks has never tried to... I actually, I take that back. I, I have um, these strange characters that pop up every so often. And I'm certainly not talking... I'm not talking about a, a guy I email back and forth with whose initial is T. No, I, I, I like what he tells me, and, and, I, and I trust... He does have a, a real understanding of certain things, but people have popped up over the years and be like, "Matt, psst, you're, you're you're kind of getting there, but you want you really want the answer? You want that last twenty percent you haven't been able to figure out?" They all come with that promise, and you know they 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 want me to take the bait. They all want me. They never deliver any information, but it all it's it's like a metaphysical contract. These creepy characters that have approached me like. Hey, you're you're getting close, but you want that extra ten percent? I have the knowledge, you don't. But it's like I have to reach out and say it's a it's like a metaphysical contract with these creeps. Not my buddy with the name T. He just came in volunteering information. That's a different thing. He says I have to go take it. Oh yeah, I want it. And then oh, then you're getting in bed with some creepy characters. So there's been creepy characters that have approached me like not just through email, nobody in person or anything like that. And I don't want it. I don't you know. And I've always, my attitude has always been, excuse me, I have to rub my nose. My attitude has always been, no, thank you. Uh, I don't want a relationship with Mr. Beeks. I don't want to, I don't want to take your, your envelopes in a, in a briefcase in the orange section of the parking garage from trading places. I, I observe 
and if you observe closely and carefully enough, they give themselves away. You get to the point, well, I understand this, 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 and this, because there's no other explanation for it, and it resonates with my inner knowing, and whatever we can tap into, that's about a million times more powerful than the idiot frontal lobes, the thinking part of the brain. So, why the hell was I talking about that? I don't know. So, so you know, it. I guess I'm saying it, you just you can figure this stuff out just by observing, and by observing them, they do business over a long, long period of time. So, can't you just see the? Um, can't you just see the the reports coming out in two years from now, three years, four years, whatever it might be? Oh, I'm sure by then there'll be three waves of this thing, or whatever they can get away with. Three waves or whatever they can get away with where and they'll they'll show a graph. I can show I can I can see what's gonna happen. There'll be a graph and say, Oh, here's the three periods that the human being uh great unwashed was locked away in their homes and look at how wonderful the the carbon the carbon Bill Gates will be doing his little whiteboard. The the carbon dipped down to nothing and the, the oceans that we took tests of the ocean water it went it it restored so quickly and the lakes and rivers and streams and and even the people that don't observe the skies the way we do uh, will will remember, they might say, yeah, I remember some really beautiful days while we were locked away. And there have been. There have been. The billowy clouds yesterday was like nothing I've seen in 30 or 40 years. It was incredible. Crystal clear blue sky between the clouds. Don't know when the last time I saw that was. Chemtrails been gone, mostly gone for weeks. Um, and I think even the people, the people around us, like the... The, the, the common folk um, it will even say, yeah, I remember some, some really nice days, and, and they'll, they'll buy right into it, that, wow, human beings locked away can have that much of a, an effect on the environment in such a short period of time. Maybe we do, you know, and maybe we do have to do these things and that. And so it's what's going on now, and it's not the only reason they're doing what they're doing now, but what's going on now is part of this huge sustainable development agenda 2030 all this st- stuff open space bike paths all this weird stuff we've been looking at for um 10 years what's going on now is absolutely part of it because they will point to it as scientific proof whether the numbers are skewed or not they'll say look at, at look at all of the wonderful metrics that happened with the animal plant insect life that when 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 you great unwashed were locked away with your netflix They'll, can't you sniff it? Can't you see that's what they're going to do? It's not in line with them killing us in just four or five weeks from now. Nope. It's in line with them bringing humans into certain uh, Hunger Games provinces and cluster cities over the next 50 years. It's in line with that sort of strategy. So um, it became clear to me today that what's going on right now is part of this whole thing. And it's a very long term strategy. But that doesn't mean it's only about that. They're getting tremendous control benefits and gains out of what's happening now, just in its own little bucket, of course. The new normal. Um, Putting society into a kind of a sick place, really hardcore now, shifting it all the way over. And when the pendulum wants to swing swing back, it won't be able to swing back to where we were now. It'll swing back halfway. So there will always, every concert you ever go to for the rest of your life, there will be many people wearing masks. You'll see masks at NFL games. I mean, at some point, you know, again, we're not going to be locked away for the rest of our lives. All these stadiums exist. All these concert halls exist. At some point, maybe after the, uh, they push the vaccine on us, but at some point, life will resemble what is going on now. Okay, resemble, but the, it won't go back all the way. It's it'll be like 9/11, where I've got to take my shoes off and I've got to wait for hours at the airport and and it'll be, all those little uh, inconveniences. That will be times a thousand, because it will hit us every day in our lives. Where 9/11, we only went to the airport, you know, once every year, once every five years. So it'll it'll be a thousand times worse than 9/11 in terms of all the little things regarding this. We'll have to put up with. And hopefully they won't be able to take it too far, like mandatory vaccines and then proof you've had the vaccine to get into a crowded place and all that stuff that we won't do that supposedly is supposed to come along with all of this. So they're very, very pleased with what's going on now. And um, I think, you know, I think they just in their back rooms are going, I can't believe we've been able to accomplish 
all of this. We're here, and they think they think, well, we thought we'd only be here. And since we're here, what should we do? Um, check the Whopper computer. <laughs> oh, it says, uh, give him some more of this shit. You know, tack on another two or three weeks. The Whopper keeps saying, tack it on. So we're going to, the AI's in control. The Westworld AI's in control of this simulation. We're, the minion level is not going to deviate from whatever this AI thing says. And one of the reasons, um, uh, so, so in other words, they're way ahead of where they thought they would be. They're way ahead where you thought what, anything they could pull off. They're way ahead of anything I thought they could pull off. And, um, you know, they're going to do it as long as the Whopper computer says to keep it up. And one of the reasons, guys, I was thinking about this a, a little bit more today. One of the reasons that they are able to keep this up with everybody complying, like we talked about, and everybody just do it, going along and doing the right thing. And of course, they're, 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 people are taking their, their, their cues from their cell phone. They're, they're not critical thinkers anymore. And we know that. But one of the main reasons is the economic impact has been light so far. All right. Now you want to don't scream at your computer just yet. I, I feel for the waiters, the waitresses, the hotel workers. The uh, Disney put a hundred thousand people out uh, who were into the cold, who, who worked at their theme parks. The Six Flags workers, the uh, mom and pop shops, I, 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 the comic book shops. I got it, and thousands of small businesses will go under. I, I'm, I feel for those people. I really do. In terms of the average person, at least in my neck of the woods, most people out here have some cubicle job at an office park. They're still getting paid. It's been light. The the economic impact has been light. Now, once if the world goes back a little bit towards the way it was, and people getting out over the next three or four weeks and whatever start to go outside, and they'll see if certain shops that start at every shopping center, one or two businesses start going under, and people are observing. This place went under that, bit, and there's a lot of small businesses going under over the next three or four months. Then the next time they bring another wave back to this, um, say, "Oh, we've got another strain or another wave comes back or whatever they whatever BS they're gonna they're gonna give us uh, in October, November, and we have to do a mini lockdown again." People are gonna if they see if they start to see economic devastation, then then it will affect them a little bit differently. If their brother lost everything in their small business, if everybody has a, a, a story that they're attached to, the, or, or they live next door to a shop that closed, or if they see the economic devastation, they're not going to be as compliant, even if they are completely low automatons or the people we tend to, you know, to look down on, and we shouldn't do that. But that type of person, maybe not the maybe not the complete NBC that's going to take the download from the system and always go along with system directives but how many people are in that condition how many people have some spirit left in them and how many people are being degraded but again once whatever that group is however big that group is once you start seeing economic devastation if it comes i mean just stuff out your window that we're not seeing now then people are gonna they're gonna just gonna run back and hide inside and they're gonna say well, if we do this again if we go into lockdown again there's not gonna be anything left of the economy and because the economy is completely fake at this point been replaced by zeros and ones there's been there's they're injecting trillions of dollars all over the world to keep everything going they're able to get away with this uh, if anything was real um, the stock market if anything was real the stock market right now would be close to zero it would be close to zero um, everything would be decimated you would have heard of 30 40 major companies that have gone under at this point uh, all the derivative markets on Wall Street all would just be imploded. Uh, the runs on money markets, it would have all happened if it wasn't completely supported by the AI, where they just inject a trillion here, a trillion there, whatever they need, with a minimal inflationary effect regarding what's going on. But people, the point is people have not seen any economic devastation, for the most part, unless you're in the, these five or six major categories. Everybody that works and, you know, all the people that worked your concessions in the uh, sports stadiums are just completely feeling. I under and I feel for all those people, but that is not what drives the the the, the world economy. And and until people see a real economic punch in the in the gut, they will comply. And it's one of the main reasons for compliance. So, but at some point, if you look around, maybe you still have the cubicle job that's getting paid, but your sister 
is now ready to lose her home and your you know your your nephew over here and your niece uh, were just put out and the your this the other nephew has got to live with you and bring his seven kids in because he was just put out. once you see that then people will start to no matter what level they're at will start to say we can't do this again we can't be locked away again the economic devastation is too grand we just need to go go out and work and you're going to see a little you would see more pushback but there's no economic devastation yet that's why you don't see it even from the lowest lower people that don't think for themselves okay even the lower people that don't think for themselves don't want the nephew showing up with the seven kids permanently in the house that's what i'm talking about so they they're getting incredible gains in terms of the immediate control that they're taking over society regarding you know 100 million americans will never feel comfortable in a big crowd again after what's happened never completely comfortable in a crowded subway about 100 million people never so they're thrilled about what's happening but this is all short-term stuff and they're saying wow we didn't realize we could we thought we would be able to put these five new normals into the into the world forever or into the united states uh way of doing business forever we're going to get 10 new normals out of it and or we're going to get 20 we never thought we could get this and the champagne corks are popping like crazy but that's more of a short term the long term thing that hit me with this thing is the all this environmental sustainable development all this stuff um and again why does anybody in the minion level would want to protect the environment didn't they just destroy california with wildfires year after year and all that stuff well not if you think long enough term from a minion perspective a minion perspective where i've um i've pondered for years that they are not like us in terms of what occupies the avatar the spirit a connection to something out of here a connection to a way out it seems like the minions many of the minions are doomed creatures that are stuck here in some way i've said this for years even though um you know i correspond with people that talk about mostly that being correct the sequential uh incarnations not sequential or or um yeah sequential incarnations where they basically are stuck here and but they if they reincarnate or they come back into another avatar with full knowledge of past lives where we come in blind and there there's some difference but but if you're stuck here if you're at minion level do you want to live in a dumb underground base a deep underground military base a dumb and just kill everybody so you can't get their energy can't suck their loosh oh my god somebody somebody got on me for saying loosh like well that's what we've been saying in this community it represents a sucking of energy and the way we understand the word is very accurate in terms of what they do to us all right, so I'm going to continue to use it. But you know, you, don't, you kill all of us off. You, they're, they're killing your energy source, source, and then they've they've got to go live in the deep underground military base. They avatar, they whatever they are, they occupy the avatar. They don't want to. You'd have to be pretty dumb to want to live in a dumb for five, five or ten years until the environment clears a little bit. Because whatever you had to do to these poor devils like you and me to get rid of all of us, it just doesn't make any sense. It makes more sense that this, this why do you, why is all this talk about agenda 21 2030 sustainable all the hundreds of millions of square acres where you, human the great unwashed can't build can't occupy huddling all the humans into cities it actually does make sense if they're doomed to always be here why would they want to destroy an environment if they're always doomed to be here for as long as their incarnations are going to keep coming back where you and i we want out not that we want to, we'll never destroy the environment we'll always we, we appreciate nature but if you were stuck here for a, 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 you know a thousand more incarnations wherever long this realm is going to exist you wouldn't want to destroy it so it, this it does make sense anybody screaming at their computer saying well, well then why'd they destroy california because they think in terms of a very long time horizon yes um billions and billions of carl sagan things were were killed uh plants species of animals uh insects humans lost their lives during all these california wildfires but with these minion things the ends always justify the means is that news to you the ends always justify if if they can create havoc in california over a 20-year period and just have and, and finally using sustainable development agenda 2030 all the wonderful reports that are that are going to come back from uh, from the studies of the lockdown showing how and the environment just went crazy in terms of how great it was while the human great unwashed was locked away if they can clear out they can do their huddled cities and 
bring all the pack all the humans together into zones into hunger games uh, territories then they would say well we had to do that the, the, again the ends justify the means for these people if they can clear out all of northern california up to seattle as open space well what we had to do to california with those wildfires and everything was necessary because then they figure that we'll enjoy the next four or five thousand years i don't know but this is how they think in my opinion you would think that way if you're a sequential incarnation you're just going to come right back here you would build your empire if you can retain you retained your knowledge you know you come back and access the same like austin powers coming back he access the same bank accounts and you know maybe there wouldn't be a swedish made penis pump waiting for you when you came out of cryo instead of coming out of cryo austin powers you come into another body or whatever but you know maybe we can anybody that doesn't have the swedish made penis pump we can gift them ours i have many here you know austin, austin powers the, the sequential or incarnation would say that's not mine baby i can't do austin powers that well but anyway so guys um if you truly believe they have a long-term agenda, like we always would talk about with them in the truth community for the last, you know, how many, five or ten years, then this totally makes sense. What's playing out now is part of the environmental agenda over a very long period of time. If you've just changed up everything you've learned about the minions and the way the reality works, and you just don't think they're going to kill us off in this fall, then, then what I'm saying now ain't going to fly with you. But there's no reason for me to pull back and go away from everything I've learned about what this system is and how it operates and how it does business. How it, we're learning how it does business. How it does business. Sorry. Ah, oh, boy.